Uh, good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And yeah, yesterday we did smash the market. We did actually smash. Uh, we did it very nice. I hope maybe you were on uh, uh, on our live session. Or maybe if maybe you were in the group. If you are a part of the team, obviously. Obviously, you did it. Obviously, you did it. But uh, by the way, before we continue, you can see that we have something. If you want uh, some of the membership there, uh, services or packages, you can get there. You can just WhatsApp me or Telegram me. So if you want mentorship, mentorship is like you learn. You learn. We train you how to do all this analysis. We teach you how to make your own, own signal then actually you won't need to see the signal but it's fine if you want also the signal there's other packages but if you want to learn and start to make this thing for yourself to analyze to understand most of st of the stuff most of us actually we don't actually learn forex we just get information on youtube and we try to uh, to combine everything and you know the problem is it's too much information which is not uh, uh, organized and when you go on your charts and when you on your trade you learn the hard way because you just learn by losing 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 but if maybe you want to master you must you want to master this just whatsapp me or telegram me then yeah you can start to eat with us so uh let's go straight to our daily analysis don't forget that later on we're gonna go on our live session if maybe there won't be any load shading if maybe there won't be any load shading so let's go straight to the break because we need to eat Traders Central sponsors this video or stream. Traders Central provides funding for traders and recently introduced a pop-up shop on their platform that allows you to purchase packs like to skip stage one or two on your challenge, 50% commission reduction, a deeper drawdown percentage. Sign up now using the link in the description to get up to 30% off on your first plan and enjoy the pop-up shop okay yeah i hope maybe that it's enough so please 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 don't forget to smash that subscribe button don't forget to smash that subscribe button don't forget to like and the channel is growing very slowly but it's fine uh maybe december by december maybe we will be maybe around 8k or maybe 9k but it's fine any as long as maybe uh, we're going to eat here together it's fine Mm. so what do we see on the market guys uh you can easily see that yes oh sorry i forgot this i forgot this uh, before you continue uh guys you remember when i said i need uh people for that 20 dollars i left with only nine people to join that team i forgot about that sorry um for nine people only for the signals only nine people uh, to pay that 20 dollars is actually uh it's actually 12 months so after this i think maybe it will be done i think we will be done then we're going back on our normal prices uh and also it's not a mentorship it's just only the signals but it's 12 months it's, it's like you're paying cents actually so but as as you know even if maybe it's one person or whatever if you want to join let me know then i can add uh, you on that winning team so yeah uh, i just wanted to say that so we see that yes this is bitcoin we can see that the market is still actually on what on downtrend and when the market is on downtrend we expect the market to do what to push lower again and we expect it to sell so that's what we see here and if i can go closer this is a four hours time frame this is a four hours time frame you can see that yes around this area around this area we had a nice uh, let me just change this maybe to to one hour maybe you will see whatever that i'm trying to show you you can see that i did show this a uh, sort of uh yeah sorry uh, i was talking about the 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 downtrend sorry so what's really happening here you can see that the market is still continuing going down and around this area 
fortunately if maybe i can remove this let me remove that you can see that yes uh, there's this this structure that you can see that it's a support area but that is not something that we can say oh we're supposed to buy or do something that is just an area to show us that if it's broken we can take a trade below that uh, as the market is actually on a downtrend so that's why i did uh, give that short position thing and you can see that if maybe you took that obviously you were just going to be in a very 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 nice profit so it seems like actually bitcoin is bleeding not only bitcoin let's just say crypto crypto market is actually bleeding and which is not good by the way which is not good so let's push to the next one as we don't really want to make this video very long so we are on German, 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 German 30, German, German 40, or DAX. What's really happening, you can see that, yes, the major trend here is uh, the market is actually going down. So you can easily see that, yes, we're supposed to continue with that. So if I go closer there, you will see that, yes, since yesterday, I think yesterday, yeah, we sent the signal here. Yeah, the market was just playing around. Yes, we did make something. But now you can see that the market uh, like pushed up uh, aggressively uh, on that support, on that resistance again. So still, we still expecting maybe something like that to happen, something like this to happen. And you can see that the market is trying to respect that. Remember, this is a four hours time frame. So it means the market can continue going lower and lower. So um, yeah, I think maybe this is a counter trend line. You can easily see that yes the market is actually continuing with that actually downtrend and down there you can see that we have an area here you can see that green bar actually that area it's where we can say uh, it's our support i'm not saying that the market won't break that the market can easily break that that area it's where most of the time the market did touch that zone and then push up you can see here so that's why i did mark that area there is a possibility for the market to touch this area and push up or maybe the market can still break that as the market is actually on this downtrend i hope you see that i hope you see that so let's push to the next one yeah i think this thing is still trying to push lower um we are on gold we are on gold what's really happening on gold i think this is also way too simple for us i guess uh, because we can easily see that yes the market is actually still on that downtrend you saw that yesterday we did send that signal and yeah we made something so what's really happening here is you can easily see that sorry you can easily see that the market is actually downtrending and our job was to identify this resistance before we sell and we made something why did the market bounce back from that area it's because mostly uh, you can see here is an area where we say the market came back and respect so if i can throw something like this you will see that uh, that actually makes sense you can see that area we had something and even here obviously we have something there so our job is to say uh, when you trade you should know this if you don't know uh, you don't know you have to know so you see this area it's the average is quite the same you can see this move here and quite similar to this area so it means even if maybe even if maybe the market continues going lower we will be expecting the market to bounce back around that area do you see that around this area so we will be expecting the market to move around that area yes we can still do maybe uh, sparking sorry uh, tp around this area but still we know that there is a high chance that the market can still respect that move even here if the market keeps pushing lower we will expect the market to respect this area why because that is the average move mostly that uh, that happens uh, when we trade gold not only gold by the way so i think this area was supposed to be here uh, but it's fine let me remove that i hope you see that so we are still bearish on gold so what i'm expecting here is i'm expecting the market to bounce back around this area 
to push up a little bit before we say we can sell as we are on that downtrend on that downtrend so we're gonna have something like something like this something like this and now since the market tested this area then the market now can even go lower but i'm not just saying that the market will go lower the first option will be this one maybe you can call it your first take profit then your second you should be there if you know what i'm what i'm talking about if you don't know you need to learn you need to learn so let's go on uh, straight straight on sorry let's go on us oil uh what's really happening on us oil is the market is actually on downtrend the market is actually on downtrend and that is quite easy but what we see here is it shows us i think my computer is very slow it shows that uh, the market is still on bearish even though we have something like a support around this area do you see that that is quite a, we can call that a counter trend or inner trend line it's not really that strong because the stronger uh, trend is there on top it's a downtrend so this area the market tested that and the market broke out of that so which means the market can come back again and keep selling again and we really need that because when oil prices are going down uh, actually it means that inflation is also going down which means inflation is actually uh prices prices like consumer uh, prices like whatever that you buy not only oil actually so yeah uh, this is what i'm expecting but i will wait for the market to come back around that zone again then i can say i will continue with that sell simple as that so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one which is um you are stating i don't really i don't really want to make this video very long so let's see let's see um on us oil if maybe i can just show you this i hope maybe you also saw that yesterday what's really happening here is yes the market is actually going down the market is actually bleeding you can see this is a very simple straightforward uh, downtrend so now yesterday actually so not now yesterday the market tested this area you see this area as a support this support is just a counter trend line we know very well that the market is going down but the market sometimes respect these areas but now it seems like the market did not actually respect that and yesterday i think we had something let me remove this yesterday we had something uh, which we can call a breakout by the way uh, you can see a retest there or oh, let me just go closer uh, let me use one hour one hour one hour time frame so on that one hour time frame i hope maybe you can see a very nice retest there breakout retest now i'm expecting the market to continue going lower actually after this video i have to send the the signal for this actually i'm expecting a sell if i remove that maybe i can say do you see this you see that area let me just remove this i can remove that i can remove that so you can see that yes the market was respecting this area after i break out you can see that the market is coming back again to bounce back there so which is great because this is the it's happening very slow which means we can get in the trades very very early so if you are in the team you are safe uh, we're going to get those signals so let's push to the one and only nasdaq nasdaq 100 what's really happening actually on nasdaq uh, if i can go on four hours time frame mm. on four hours time frame actually you can see that we are on a downtrend a very nice downtrend by the way quite similar to what we saw on us data but this one is very quick guys since the market touched our resistance the market has been running very low but this is a four hours time frame sometimes you can't see exactly what's really happening around this area so you need to go on a bit smaller time frame when i say bit smaller time frame i'm not talking about five minutes or 15 minutes i'm talking about one hour you see when you understand the time frames also because i think the issue of time frame also uh, it's something that makes people don't really uh, to not understand how time frame works 
they all connect but if you don't know you don't know if you know you know what i'm talking about so if you want to learn let me know let me know or you can just go on youtube you can still learn one or two things so around this area we had an area but i think that is broken it's no longer really useful so i'll just go on like seriously very closer and try to see what's really happening and try to see what's really happening what's really happening yeah you can see now i have something like this because already the market just broke out so now what we have here is the market is creating this type of structures and then i hope you everyone can see that i hope everyone can see that so now actually the market is coming back very close at all our resistance then i'm always expecting sorry we always we expecting the market to go lower as the market <coughs> is going very closer to our resistance so this resistance is not really perfect as the market was creating some crazy or some serious moves uh but i think the market can still bounce back here if i can draw a horizontal line you can see here around this area if i draw that you can see that it's an area that we can use i hope you can see that so from that area even if you go back you will see that we had several areas that we can use but just because this was very close to to the breakout the market will sometimes create create this crazy move sometimes you won't see the right uh, uh structure but this is actually what's really happening we expecting the market to push lower so we are expecting to have a sell pending order there uh, if the market keeps co pushing lower obviously our order will be there and we're gonna take it and we're gonna eat yesterday we did smash the market very quick it was very fast if you were on our live session even if you were not uh, i hope maybe yeah in the group obviously you received uh, the signal you see so yeah i think maybe for now for now we're done i don't really want to make this video very long so the signal will be sent in the group if you are not in the group that's your problem actually that's your problem so yeah uh, we'll see you later later on thank you very much don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends bye